My project Faded Tulips is a journey through the small mountainous country of Kyrgyzstan, a nation wedged between China and the other Central Asian republics that were born out of the collapse of the Soviet Union 20 years ago this year. In March 2005, I was intrigued by images on TV of Kyrgyz men vandalizing a Soviet palace. This was called the Turip Revolution. Like other post-Soviet nations, the Kyrgyz people had shaken off a corrupt ruler, the authoritarian President Askar Akayev, and they replaced him with Komamek Bakiev, the main opposition leader. Two and a half years later, I visited Kyrgyzstan for the first time, when the country was no longer under the spotlight of the international press. I went back five times, and I traveled to every corner of the country, I covered electoral campaigns, pro- and anti bakiev demonstrations. I photographed formerly flourishing Soviet industries now abundant, surrounded by majestic high mountains. I went to the opera, celebrated weddings and drank vodka with internal migrants. I met coal miners and inhabitants of villages polluted by uranium waste. I strolled along the unemployment alley in Bishkek and shared the homeless life with those who spent the winter living underground. During all my stays, I was struck by the growing instability which would lead, eventually, to the bloody riots of April 2010. A new revolution of sorts, perhaps more authentic this time. In the ensuing chaos, the city of Osh became the scene of ethnic clashes. Officially, around 500 people were killed, most probably more, and 400,000 people, mainly ethnic Uzbeks, had been displaced. I arrived in the wake of this, and I was deeply moved by the atrocity on the scale of this drama. This country, its history, its people and tragedies touch me profoundly. I usually work on long-term projects, mostly focusing on isolated or weakened communities. And in Kyrgyzstan, I wanted to immerse myself in the poorer part of the Kyrgyz society and try to understand how this small country could descend so quickly into such extreme violence. My work, Faded Tulips, is a deep immersion into the daily life of people living amidst the ruins of the past and whose present is undermined by poverty, injustice and chronic political instability. Now, I wish to share my experience to increase the public awareness about this country. I want to touch others as I was touched myself. I need to spread this work so that Kyrgyzstan does not fall once more into oblivion. It is in books that photographs attain durability. Enriched with text by an expert, the book Faded Tulips will become an important tool for a better understanding of post-Soviet Central Asian countries that still struggle under the weighty legacy of the USSR. But to make this book possible, I need your support. You can help by pre-buying a copy of the signed book, numbered and delivered with a print. If we can sell 100 books, we can print 1000 more. Without your commitment, this book won't exist. Therefore, I urge you with all my heart to make this adventure possible.